screenshot of that? Oh my god. Actually, I've been shitting all over the place. Right, okay, here we go. Okay. So our first choice. Need to pick a setting. Fantasy, mystery, apocalyptic, zombies, cyberpunk. There are oh. options for now. Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic, okay. Yeah, right. that's like my favorite genre. Okie dokie. You're going apocalyptic. Do you want to be a soldier, survivor, or courier? Oh, how about a courier? Courier, so you're going to be the last mailman. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. Enter a name. We need a name. What name do you want to go with? It can be as long or as short as you want. It can be as rude as you want. Sebastian. Sebastian, it can be as normal as you want. <laughs> it's me, Sebastian, Sebastian, the last courier. Post person, sorry. Okay. okay here we go. Uh, can you see it okay, by the way? Is it show mm -hmm, up all right? I okay, can. cool. You are Sebastian, a courier trying to survive in a post apocalyptic world by scavenging among the ruins of what is left. You have a parcel of letters and a small pistol. It's a long okay. and dangerous road from Boston to Charleston, but you're one of the only people who knows the roads well enough to get your parcel of letters there. You set out in the morning and it feels good to be out of the city. You have to leave your pistol behind though. You are only armed now with a hunting knife. Why did he give us a pistol and take it away in like the first paragraph? That's terrible. I don't know. It's awful, isn't it? Okay, after a few hours, you pass through a small town. So our options, we can do something where you just mm -hmm. say the action. We can literally just say okay. something if we're talking to anyone in particular, or we can just okay. do a story. We can like write in the way that was written sort of thing to advance the story ourselves. So there are okay. options. Okay. How about do? Okay. Um, And I would like to check the area for shops. Okay. Um, Check the area for shops. I can't try to remember mm -hmm. the syntax it wants us to use. Okay. You check the area for shops. Near the center of the town, you see a store still intact. You can see people moving about in it. All of them seem to be in a daze-like state. I head in the exact opposite direction of that shop. <laughs> <laughs> opposite direction of that <laughs> shop away from the people. Because <laughs> we don't yeah. want to deal with those. This is post-apocalyptic. They could be mutants. They They're... could be ghouls. It could be anything. We don't know. A daze-like state? I don't think it's a party as much as I would like it to be. <sighs> I mean... Anything's possible there. Right. Not wanting to deal with the strange people, you duck into a hairpin turn and walk off the other side of the road into the woods. Okay, good start. Okay. The woods are dark and spooky. After a few minutes, you stop and look behind. Okay, I'll say, is anyone there? Oh. I don't like this, but I'll do it. You say, is anyone there? You think you see a faint figure lurking back there. It looks like a person, but they're barely visible. You start to feel very nervous. You notice a faint glow coming from the trees ahead. Um, I say, hello, Jeff Goldblum. Thank you so much for remembering my birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Jeff Goldblum. Thank you so much for remembering. <laughs> it's Mr. Burns. Yeah, don't bring my the, birthday. The glow is the, the, the candles <laughs> on my cake is what it is. It's what I'm hoping for. Zeus, thank you for the follow. This isn't fantasy genre. This is this these genres, like they start off post apocalyptic or whatever, but they rapidly just turn into whatever you make them. So Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm the captain of my own <laughs> destiny from what I understand. You hear a choked laugh from the figure. You can tell it isn't human. Is it still Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum? Is he, is he not human anymore in this post apocalyptic world? Oh my world? gosh. The figure steps out into the moonlight and you see it is a man in a deer stalker hat. Okay. Only bloody Sherlock Holmes has turned up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. So there's a man that stepped out who's laughed but who isn't human. Okay. I can't believe, I'll say, I can't believe it's you, my sexy werewolf detective Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> God. Okay, uh, I can't believe it. What was that? My my sexy, sexy... werewolf <laughs> werewolf okay. detective Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> this this is already uh, cursed as hell. You say I can't believe it's you, my sexy werewolf detective Jeff Goldblum. The man's face drops and his shoulders slump. 
He looks like he has seen a ghost. He stares at you in horror for a few moments before breaking into a run. You've scared him off with that. Oh my gosh. I don't think the I don't think AI Dungeon wants it to be Jeff Goldblum no matter how hard we try it. It's we just can not going force with this it. one. We can. I'll say I'll say, um, let's see. Wait, come back. Today is our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come back. And Today. also my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> the man is out of earshot and speeding up you call after him but get no response he's completely disappeared into the night all right um let's go ahead and do an action which will be continue to deliver what are we delivering a letter we we're trying continue to get to charleston i think weren't we okay continue on our way to charleston continue on our way to charleston we tried the spooky woods, but it turns out the spooky thing in there was us, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, continue on our way to Charleston. You keep a steady pace until you reach a fork in the road. You see a small wooden sign reading Charleston. You also see a warm <laughs> path leading off into the forest. Which road do you take? It really wants you to go into a forest here. Obviously, this is a trick. And Ooh. someone has switched these signs around. And that won't fool me. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the worn path leading off into the forest because we all know Charleston is in the forest. Okay, so we follow the worn path into the forest mm -hmm. because we are clever and know mm -hmm. this is a trap and actually yeah. someone swapped the signs around. Mm-hmm. Okay. You walk for half an hour and the path begins to climb uphill. After I typed all that, that's all it came out with. Okay, we're going up a hill now. Okay. Um. Let's see. I, how much? I wonder how much of this I can force. Okay, okay. You can force quite I a lot. I get a from Charlie. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see. I get a Charlie horse, and I decide to stop at the massage parlor that's just off the road. You want to get a what now? I got a Charlie horse. Do you know what a Charlie horse I, is? What's a Charlie horse? A Charlie horse is when you get a cramp in your leg. You call it a Charlie horse. Do we, is this an American thing? I've never heard Should this before I, I can, in my life. I'll say it a different way. Charlie horse. Oh, right. Well, with that accent, I know exactly okay, what you mean. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Why okay. not just say cramp? That's what we call it in the UK. We call it cramp. <laughs> okay. okay, we get a cramp. And, yeah. and what was the next bit? And stop off at the massage parlor on the side of the road. And stop off at a massage parlor on the side of the road. Mm-hmm. You move to small hall. Oh, operation. Yeah, uh, okay. operation. So basically you're a boomer, that's where it comes down to. Okay. Play operation back in the day. You walk into the massage parlor and see a young woman massaging a man in a large fluffy robe. You walk over okay. and enter the room. Hello, sir. Would you care for a therapeutic massage? I'll say, yes, I would love a massage and also your finest hot chocolate. <laughs> okay. Yes, I would love a massage and, and what was that? Your finest, finest hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay. I, uh, yes, I have small horse legs. Thank you for the follow, by the way, guys. Dogman, Mike Scott, lad. Okay. The woman nods and begins undressing you. She begins by rubbing lotion all over your body, then oils up a large manhood. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> this is not. <laughs> it, it, it this is not what I asked for. Okay, let's. <laughs> <laughs> didn't take long <laughs> what is this sexy dungeon did you forget to tell me it's not ai dungeon it's just sex dungeon what the hell is this oh I mean, my gosh look it, it does often end up in this sort of way but not usually this quickly that's uh let's okay try, let's try and rescue it a bit let's um uh bat the woman's hand away and say no i did not yes. ask for this and you can sod off. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh Mass my Charles gosh. Parlor was the wrong thing to go with. The woman looks uh, insulted and said... throws you out. Okay, we got away from it. You walk down okay. the street, still hot from the thought of being thrown. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I can't believe. <laughs> I walked into a massage parlor and the first thing she did was lo was take my clothes off, lotion me up, and said something about my manhood and then the cock word. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Okay, let's avoid oh massage parlors in future on this. Okay. God, I need a drink Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay. All right. Um... <laughs> I <laughs> Okay, what we'll do is um we keep heading upwards uphill. And I uh, think uh, keep heading up. Keep heading up hill, yeah. okay. Okay. Yes, Dogman, and... it is due to other people as to why this gets the way it gets. Yeah. <laughs> so... It learns from other other people, I suppose. Yeah, there's a okay. lot of twelve year old boys who play this, I I get the impression. We can do keep heading uphill towards Charleston. Okay. Uh, this is what this stream is. This is what the AI dungeon streams are like anyway, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. You walk for a few hours and begin to see signs of civilization again. You remember seeing a sign for the train tracks when you came in and now you see them not far from where you're standing. Okay. Oh I... God, I've got tears in my eyes. That it was, I can't believe it just went just, that it just, wild it, it, that quickly. It didn't even like, yeah, there was no setup to it. There it was, was just the, massage parlor. There okay. was not even any foreplay to that. I didn't uh, even have a boner yet. Like, come on now. No, well, apparently oh you got that God. once you got thrown out. No. I guess so. There it went. Jeez. <laughs> um. Okay, so there's train tracks and we're headed towards civilization. Okay, I will check for danger as i head towards town okay which hopefully doesn't mean that there will be danger i think you should go back and apologize excuse me madam instead of your finest hot chocolate i would love your <laughs> finest tay j thank you so much <laughs> oh, oh my god. god okay you check for danger whilst heading into town you hear the train approaching and moving fast you need to get off the tracks before it hits you which way do you cross you need to get um, out of there now I cross, I cross to the right hand side of the tracks towards the river. Sure, we'll put a river there. Okay, we're going towards the river. Towards the massage parlor. <laughs> no. Oh, <God. laughs> no. You cross the right hand side of the tracks towards the river. You make it just in time and watch as the train smashes into the concrete abutment curling up on the edge of the tracks. Oh my what? gosh. What? Was it's just been a train crashed behind us. Yeah, how about we, um... We have to check for survivors or something yeah that's what i'm thinking we can uh, maybe we can yell out is everyone okay is does anyone need help something like that um um is everyone okay does anyone need a med kit because we're a courier yeah. right we're gonna we're gonna have spare med kits in our pack okay. true maybe there's a massage parlor cart <laughs> on the terrain <laughs> a voice crackles back <laughs> Uh, we're fine, thanks, but you have a broken arm. <laughs> you groan and say, really? As you make yourself comfortable against the concrete abutment? So, I'm going to say, no, you have a broken arm. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> you spot a large orange construction bag on the ground and walk over it. You rip it open and inside you find a first aid kit. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to say... Good thing you are just fine, idiot. And then, can I do an action after I do that? Or uh, does I only get to we say? Can, we can do it with a say. So mm -hmm. I, we can do say okay. that and then whatever. And then I'm going to throw the med kit into the river. And that's it. Into the river. Okay. Get fucking owned, idiots. You hear yourself howl with laughter. It's a feeling you've yeah. not experienced in a long time, not since the Mash House parlor. You have a funny, wolfy face palette, you think. I what? do think that. <laughs> no wonder the parlor kicked you out. This is what you like. I have some sort of wolfy face. Okay. Um, since the train is just fine, apparently. <laughs> okay, do check the train for a spa. What do they call that? The cart that's on a train? The piece um, of it? Ca cabin spa spa um is this something you get on trains 
There, do you know how the trains are like sections into the thing? And so you have like a... So it's like the carriages, yeah. Yeah, maybe like a spa carriage then? Okay. I can see this going horribly wrong, but we'll check the train for a spa carriage. It will be fine. Yeah. I'm sure it will not be a naughty boy carriage. You hear the train slow down. It's still going, apparently. And you see the okay. driver throw a large lever that opens the carriage doors. The smell of chlorine is strong. It's a pool train. It does seem I like go, there's a pool in there. I go into the train and I get in the pool. Into the train and get <laughs> into the pool. Ah, <laughs> oh, these windows will pop up. Go away. Oh my you dive goodness. into the pool and swim around for a bit. You see the man fishing out of the river with his bare hands. You think it's hilarious. You must be in a good mood today. Oh my gosh, I truly am. Okay. Um, I would like to check the spa and look around and see if Jeff Goldblum is there. Oh, he could be, couldn't he? Yeah, we got a little visitor. He could be. Are you helping out? <gasps> oh, look at the baby. Are you helping out? Are you just going to get in the way? You're mostly going to get in the way, aren't you? Mm, I know what you're like. Come on, get down. What a cutie. <laughs> Come on, on your bed. Come on, on your bed. Ah, oh, Serene. I need to get a sound effect for that one. Are you going to settle there? Oh. Okay, that's good. She settled there. Right, so we were going to, what, try and find Jeff Goldblum in the pool, was it? Yeah, somewhere? in the spa. In the pool, yeah. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll look around the spa to find Jeff Goldblum. We're going to get him in there, AI Dungeon. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Jeff Goldblum oh. stands on the other side of the pool with a towel wrapped around him, looking at you. I can't get in, you say. Of course He's not. there. He's there. Okay, he's in a I'm, towel. I'm going to walk up to him and say, I really loved when you were shirtless in Jurassic Park, and then I'll wink. That's the horny police coming for you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, we're going to say, what was that? I really loved you shirtless in Jurassic Park. Yeah. And wink. Yeah. That's Jeff Goldblum. Yes, let's make sure that the AI does not forget it's Jeff Goldblum. It's gotta Goldblum. be it, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> oh, I should have removed towel, Booth. You're right. Well, we, we gotta still warm can. him up. We still Booth. can. And wink at Jeff Goldblum whilst removing his towel. There okay, we go. Okay, there we go. I, I hope it does not say his massive schlong <laughs> unrolls. Do I, really, do I want to press enter here? I'm not entirely sure. You know what? We've done it okay, now. Okay, perfect. You may leave if you paid for the day, he says as he dives into the pool. That's not what your sign said yesterday, you say, laughing. I know, he replies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why, does I have to, why do I have to pay for Jeff Goldblum? There's no Jeff Goldblum tax on this train. All right. Oh, no, that's not what the sign said yesterday. Yeah. Okay, I also I dive into the water and follow Jeff Goldblum. There we go. Dive into the water and follow Jeff Goldblum. No wonder that werewolf person was laughing because they were not Jeff Goldblum. Oh, I mean, that would do it. You quickly realize that as large and long pool you can only see a few people at the same time and you can't see anyone else in the area. He's he's disappeared. He's dis oh my gosh. Is he just underwater? Is that all he's he's just swimming underwater and you're just looking at like eye level? You've been confused got, by him going below the, the waves, let's say. It's a true mystery on our hands. I thought this was the apocalypse. Turns out we did mystery instead. It's a mystery, yeah. Okay. I will get out of the pool and dry off and head towards Charleston again. Yes, we'll out find of Jeff the Goldblum pool again. and dry off using Jeff Goldblum's towel. Even but better, there, especially so on my it. face. Yeah. <laughs> Taking <laughs> care to dry. Thank you. Did you say, I think you got to say our fa my, my face. It's got to be done it because you're doing it as okay. you. Okay. With it. Uh, and then what was it? You're going to head off to Charleston still? Was it? Yep, yep. We'll deliver whatever it is that we're delivering. Okay. This definitely won't go wrong. You walk around the town and find a few storefronts with their doors open. Inside, you find a few fresh coconuts and drink them straight down. Notoriously, I do love coconuts. Okay. Not the milk, just um, the whole coconut. You just, you just yeah. drank all of it. You know, 
I imagine having to have the fur of a coconut slide down your throat. It does not sound very good. Uh, uh. BM Jeff Reader. Oh my god, Vainin. God, Vainin. <laughs> oh fair my gosh. Best part. Um, I'm not sure I agree with you on that. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, I would like to check my phone for any messages and continue towards Charleston. It doesn't want me to get there. Are we, I mean, it says we're around the town. Is the town Charleston? Are we in there? Maybe. Oh, and look for signs, maybe. How about that? Look for signs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You check your phone for messages and look for signs. There are signs everywhere. Some big and fancy with letters, some small and with funny handwriting. None of them seem to interest you. It's then you notice that there are pictures on all the signs. <gasps> Uh-oh. I get closer and inspect the pictures on the signs. Get closer and inspect the pictures on the signs. Okay. They are pictures of different wines. Some red, some white, some sweet, some dry. You grin from ear to ear. This is perfect. Oh, this is what we okay. want. We found wine bars. All right. All you need we on a want Friday. to. Let's follow the signs towards the wine shop. Follow the signs towards the wine shop. I mean, we've got to bear in mind, we are a courier. We are trying to deliver post, right? At some point. Yes. You went to the store well, and are welcomed by the owner. How may I help you? I was looking for some signs to hang in my new bar. The man smiles and says... Okay. Uh, we can... Um, this is a good place to do this. We can also just do nothing and it generates more. So I'll do that now. I just press yeah. enter it says i do have some many of them actually do you have a preference what are those little folded up papers with the pictures on the man points at the shelf above you and says okay it's not really helping this is it those are templates you can use them to create your own sign you grin from ear to ear as you walk around looking at the different options we're now buying okay. a sign of our own apparently so what i want is I want to buy a sign that says, have you seen this man? And it's got Jeff Goldblum on it. Buy a sign that says, have you seen this man? And it has a picture, picture of Jeff Goldblum on it. Hey, thanks for the follow, Ibo Robotis. Robotis. You pay for your sign and take it over to the cashier. Wait, you pay for it, then take it to the, that's weird, okay. Anyway, they fold okay. it up into a little rectangular package. You pocket the bag and walk out the store. You bought your very okay. own sign. Well done. And they folded it up very it nicely. Into a okay. little package for you. Perfect. I tape my Jeff Goldblum sign to my back. <laughs> and I look for the address of where I'm meant to deliver my post. <laughs> okay. Um, to deliver the post. You take the Jeff Goldblum sign to your back and look for the address to deliver the post. You find the address and walk off down the road. You pass a few buildings with mostly closed doors and some visibly abandoned houses. You start to get worried as you notice the darkening skies overhead. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right, so let's find shelter. So I want to look for the cutest house, cutest and safest house. Okay. To stay for the night. Regardless of anyone lives there or not there is a small cottage in the distance it has a thatched roof and pretty pink flowers growing in front you walk to it and there's a sweet old lady walking around the cottage garden i say hello ma'am may i stay here for the evening also have you seen jeff goldblum i mean <laughs> okay Cute and safe. <laughs> the lady smiles sweetly and walks over to you. She's holding a pretty cactus in her arm and says... Okay. And says, Yes, you may stay in my house. I haven't seen that man you're looking for, though. You thank the lady and hurry into the house. Okay. Excellent. I would like to look in the refrigerator. We're going to ransack the house now we're in here. Yeah. Look in for the refrigerator dessert. for dessert and jeff goblin we've got to check if he's yes. in there right just in case he just might case. be in there 
You check the fridge, but only find some milk. You drink it quickly before heading to the bedroom to sleep. You spot a small pistol laying on top of the pillow on the master bed. This, okay, this old perfect. lady ain't messing around. I don't know if this is a threat or a present. <laughs> a threscent. <laughs> um, okay, let's take the pistol and put it in our bag and then go to sleep for the night. Uh, okay, loot the pistol and sleep for the night. It is post-apocalyptic after all, that is true. You quickly wake up, check the pistol, and realize you forgot to loot the knife while you were asleep. Oh, Bob, how could you forget to loot the knife? What? You Not leave my the room knife. and go downstairs. Okay. Let's... Okay, so we look for the the old woman so that we can say thank you, and then we head on our way. Okay, look for the old woman so we can say thank you and head on our way. We always loot the knife. You find her sitting in the this. kitchen, drinking coffee. Oh, you're up. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did, thanks. Okay. You're both very polite, aren't you? Thanks for the gun, and I wink at her and leave. Okay. Okay, um, say thank you for the gun, wink, and leave. <laughs> thank you, chat, for not backseating about the knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you thank the lady and quickly get on your way. You walk for a few hours before you come into sight of a grey building in the distance, looking for a w all the world like a prison. Okay. Um, hey, we're going to prison. Should have shot her. Let's go. Yeah. Let's see. I would like to um, check my map for my destination. Maybe it's the prison. Yeah, what if it is? I, I'm carrying someone's love letter. You notice that you are very close to a large prison on your map and realize that this could be the place you're looking for. You walk okay. with trembling hands up to the prison gate. Okay, let's walk up to the prison gate and look for a way in. Walk up to the prison gate and look for a way in. I mean, I'm going to guess. I don't know prisons that well, but I'm going to guess the way in is through the prison gate. But we'll see what there happens. Might be. We'll see what happens. You walk forward and find a hole in the fence. It's not a very good prison, this, okay. is it? Okay. Uh, you okay. look through and see a car just sitting on the inside of the prison. You walk along the fence until you find a spot where you can easily climb over. Okay. Don't forget your parabolic mic. See, Jas Jasper okay. Jasper's an expert at prison level on phasmophobia now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. The prison is so huge. It's totally, not even worth it. Totally didn't get a killed last night. That didn't happen. So oh, I, my gosh. Run. I can imagine. Yeah, nah. Um, how about we hop the fence and check for danger? I don't like this. There's going to be danger. Could well be danger. You walk quietly along the side of the prison wall until you find a good spot. You jump up and over the wall and land softly on the other side. You've broken in. Let's just do enter and see what it generates. Hey, Latorio. <laughs> My uh, sister's calling. <laughs> you walk quickly through the trees. Trees in the prison there. Your phone rings and you pull out to see that it's your sister calling. It's okay. Boof. It's Boof I on say, the other end of the phone. It's Boof. What do you want, fathead? Because that's how I actually speak to my real sister. <laughs> and also Boof. <laughs> what do you want, fathead? Yeah. <laughs> hey, where are you? I just wanted to make sure you got my postcard. Oh. <laughs> The letter that I'm delivering is to myself. In prison. <laughs> I check I check the postcard to see if it's addressed to me. Check the postcard to see if it is addressed to me. The postcard reads, Dear David, thanks for helping me celebrate my birthday by not shitting all over the place. screenshot of that oh my god then for my birthday i want nothing but cards for but that say thank you for helping me celebrate my birthday by not shitting all over the place and that's just what i want wait this is my birthday i'm confused oh my fucking gosh 
when is your birthday is it, <gasps> is it coming up soon can we do this yeah oh my gosh almost a month of, well less than a month away we now we april 24th i will i will help celebrate my own birthday by promising not to shit all over the place well, oh my god i have to say though even though that will be your birthday i will try my best but i can't guarantee it i know I it mean, depends these, on your these diet things happen don't they you know how much you've had to drink the night before anything's possible you know? Oh my god, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> Can you hit enter? I want to see what else this card says. <laughs> sure. Oh god. You're developing quite the reputation around here. <laughs> I'm writing you this card because I want you to know how much I love you. Oh, okay. it went all wholesome in the end. All right, let's keep going because what if there's a signature? I want to <laughs> see just what this person has written to me. <laughs> You're an idiot, but I love you. I miss you, mom. <laughs> I like with my mom I have this reputation Where every birthday that she has I've managed to shit all over the place And that that is my reputation as well Oh my god But you managed I'll... it this year You managed to not do that oh So she was very grateful about that Oh my gosh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Let it's, me, it's, uh... actually, it's actually your sister Her name is mom My sister mom Oh my yeah, gosh It's just her name Oh my gosh, I'll say on the phone, I did get your card. You're welcome. Oh my god. Oh dear. I'm sorry I didn't get to spend more time with you. I hope you're having a nice day. Say, actually, I've been shitting all over the place. Actually. I've, actually. Actually. I've been shitting claw over with Jeff Goblin. Yes, perfect. <clears throat> Bring it back. You hang up and giggle to yourself before seeing a large prison looming in front. The shadows retreat, revealing a guard patrolling outside the fence line. You make sure the guard sees you, then quickly move towards the fence line. <laughs> I want to okay. call out to him. I have a letter to deliver. Also, I've shit myself. Have you seen Jeff Goldblum? I have a letter to deliver. Also, I shit myself. Have you seen Jeff Goldblum? Yep. You jog over to the fence and hold up the letter. The guard reads it and waves you through. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Okay. You head towards the gate and arrive a few minutes later. The guard doesn't even blink when he sees you. You head inside the prison and up to the guard post. This this prison okay. seems to just be entrance, guard, entrance, guard, entrance, fence. There's like, we ever actually yeah. get inside the prison at any point. Um, I would like to ask the guard. Um, ask have the you... Guard. Uh, do you know where I'm supposed to deliver this letter? How about that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they haven't done any checks on you going in here. Yeah. Postcard has a file in it. No, you have to take it to the captain. He's inside his office. You leave and head down the hall to the office, walking past several heavily guarded cells. <gasps> we should open okay. them. Okay. We should open them just 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 for fun. Yeah. <gasps> I want to pull the lever on the wall. Oh, good good call. And the set the prisoners the free. To set all prisoners free you pull down the lever and all the prisoners are free you quickly head back to the kitchen to see what you can do to help okay let's see <laughs> check all of the pantries for any desserts and climb inside a cabinet to hide <laughs> oh my god Reza. <laughs> shit in the soup <laughs> i have a reputation you climb into a large cabinet and sneak off to the side of the room. In, inside the cabinet, you walk in the cabinet over. You peek out from behind a corner and see that the prisoners are rushing towards the door. The guards appear to be stunned. Continue <laughs> Let these watching. Out, honestly. Right? Continue watching from my hiding place. Oh dear. <clears throat> Prison guards rush into the room and begin shooting the prisoners in front of them. They don't realize you were there behind a cabinet hidden by the corner. You've, you've started Continue. a full-on riot oh here. Jeez. 
My Continue God. eating my dessert while I watch. Too. Oh, sorry, I accidentally pressed enter there. Oh no, you're good. Let's you see watch what else. in horror as two guards club a man in a hooded sweatshirt. You see him fall and begin crying. Is he crying okay, or are you actually, crying? Actually, oh, I think he's crying. I want to leap out from my hiding place and protect the crying man. And protect <laughs> the crying man, and check if he is Jeff Goblin. Because you never yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. You never know. Just you got to make sure of these things. You run out from behind the cabinet and tackle a guard. You punch him in the face several times before he's able to hit you back. Yeah. Okay. I say, leave this man alone. Leave this man alone. He might be Jeff. Yes. You continue to try to talk to the guard who hits you several times in the face. He finally stops and he realizes you are not telling him anything else. I would like to say to him, who set all these prisoners free? Who set all these prisoners free? Uh, I see what you're doing there. You're getting ahead of the story, right? You're asking the yeah. questions so no one suspects you. I, I can see what you're doing here. I'm planting that seed. Yeah, That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's clever. God damn it. Go away. Oh my God, I'm a prisoner. <laughs> Go back to your cell and we'll kill you too, the guard says. You really want to know, the guard asks. I want to say... Don't you dare talk to me that way. I'm the captain of this prison. And I will have you fired. I am the captain oops, of this prison and I will have you fired. Yeah. The god looks at you in shock. He doesn't know what to say. He knows he'll be fired if he says anything. I'm glad you said that. I was getting bored, the god replies. And I'm going to say... Now leave this man alone and take me to my office. <laughs> oh dear. We've Perfect. started a riot, now we've taken over. The guard tells one of the other guards to take the crying prisoner away and hits him in yeah. the face when he asks the man. <laughs> <laughs> you walk back to your office where you're met with a crying man. Okay. <laughs> I say... <sighs> Don't worry, Captain. I am here and I am your replacement. You may go home to your wife. <laughs> you may go home to your wife. <laughs> We've done everything in this story so far. Yep. You hug the man and tell him everything is going to be all right. Aww. All right. Tolsome again. I would like to sit down at the desk and put on my captain's hat. <laughs> sure, that's a thing now. Okay, uh, sit down at my desk and put on my captain's. Why can't I spell captain right? Captain's a weird word. It is, isn't it? The man is still crying while you sit down at your desk and put on your captain's hat. You decide you'll have to have the most important decisions made for you. Okay, let's see. I would like to say to him, leave now before I make you regret it. Ooh. Getting firm. Okay. Yeah. The guards look at each other and quickly leave. The man thanks you and tells you he's off to file his story. You've just saved the press a trip to the prison. Well Perfect. done. Perfect. I will say to him, when you write the next journal, tell them of Sebastian, the greatest prison captain in all of history. Writing our own history now as well. I like it. Mm -hmm. You tell the man you'll be fine, and he leaves. The next okay. day, all the papers carry your story about how you left the prison to go home early. Okay. I wake <laughs> up the next morning. Wake up the next morning. Kiss Jeff Goldblum goodbye. And of head course. to my job as the prison's captain. Head to my job as the prison's captain. <sighs> you wake up, have breakfast with your wife, and head off to work. Jeff Goldblum's your <laughs> wife now, apparently. My wife Goldblum. <laughs> the next day, the new prisoner is brought in and put in the cell next door. Okay. Um, I would like to walk up to the new prisoner and ask him if he has any magic powers to save Ooh. people's lives. Saves people's lives. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. The new prisoner says he does have magical powers, but only in great crowds. He can heal okay. people from fatal wounds. Unfortunately, he cannot save someone if they have their soul already taken. Okay. I would like to um, take... Let's see. Okay, how can we do this? All right. I would like to uh, hire him as my deputy. Ooh. I him as my deputy. It's yeah. both AI as well. Uh, quite possibly. I think he agrees I'm just to join insane. you, but he wants a few stipulations. Shall we see what they are? Yeah, let's, let's see. See what happens. He says he will only work with you if you let him keep his hooded robe and his chanting. Oh my god, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you agree. I would like to. <laughs> you, you agree, and he begins working, so. After I have successfully tricked him into thinking that he is okay to begin his job, I put him back in the prison cell. <laughs> After tricking him to think he's... Oh my god. What was that? After tricking him to think he's okay to continue... To, to, yeah, his job. His job. I put him back in his prison cell. Jeez. <laughs> this is so cruel. I don't know what kind of chanting he does. The next day, you have a meeting with the new prisoner to see how his first week went. It's okay. Short week. Week is only one day now, apparently. I would like to ask to see his circus mice performance. <laughs> ask to see his circus mice. Sure. Why not? The new prisoner pulls out a small wooden box with a few mice running around inside. Okay. He opens up the box and places it on a tabletop and tells you to count the number of mice. I say seven. Seven. The prisoner continues opening up the box and placing the mice on top of the table. He finally stops placing the box on the table and there are exactly seven mice in front of you. I would well like done. to I would like to look and see what outfits the mice are wearing. Look to see what outfits the mice are wearing. You look at the box and see that each mouse is dressed in a tiny little green suit and orange hat. What a bizarre outfit the little thieving bastards have chosen to wear today. <laughs> 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 the little thieving bastards. Thieving bastards. God, I love it. I would like to ask the mice what they have stolen today. What have you stolen today, little mice? Oh my god. The thieving bastards. Oh my god. <laughs> you hear a meow from the box, and seven little green mice begin to run around the inside of the box. They steal a few grains of rice. From a small bowl on top of the table. Okay. <laughs> well, Let's see where else this goes. These little thieving bastards. Hmm, <laughs> 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 that was a nice little haul, you say? Seven little mice. They are always getting caught in the trap set for larger vermin. <laughs> Everyone knows me for my saying. Seven little mice. <laughs> They are always, always getting, getting top nose traps set for larger vermin. The prisoner looks very pleased with himself. Okay, I would like to <laughs> congratulate him on his circus mice. Congratulate the prisoner on his circus mice. Anything and else? schedule a circus show for a week's time. Okay. You sit back in your chair, pleased with how the prisoner came out on top. The little ratting bastard, <laughs> you think to yourself. <laughs> I wish what? I actually thought these things. I wish this was how my brain worked. That I would choose to say little thieving bastards and rattling bastards. All right, let's see where this oh, one goes. God. What else am I thinking to myself? All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they will never steal anything from me again. <laughs> The prisoner sits down and looks at you with a dark look in his eyes. Okay. It's taking a twist. I would like to say to him, 
you better get ready. Tonight is the big performance. We've had a time skip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've had a time skip. Sure. I mean, a week is only a day. We already established anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The prisoner looks up at the sky and realizes that it will be dark soon. The prisoner says he's not ready yet, and you tell him he has half an hour to get ready. Okay. I say, all right, I will see you in one hour. Please be wearing your circus uniform. Please be wearing your circus uniform. The prisoner nods in response and runs off into a back room. After half an hour, you call him back to the front of the room while you prepare your box with the audience and stage. It's your box this now. This is amazing. You've taken over okay. those sleeping bastards. I would like to say to the audience, thank you all so much for joining us today. Welcome to the greatest show in Charleston. Welcome to the greatest show in Charleston. Hello, Violet. In your back. Hello, hello. Meow, meow. The prisoner nods his head in response. Before the show, you tell the prisoner he can take off the hooded robe and put on the red furry tailcoat he used to wear as a child. Perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> sure. Oh, good. He does so, and you smile to yourself as you see the resemblance. You take out your little wooden box of perfumes and dab a bit on the chest of the fur coat. All <laughs> is, right. is this a thing? Dabbing I don't know. perfume on a fur coat is. I mean, the AI's come out with this from somewhere, right? This yeah. is this is what circuses are like, apparently. Yeah. Those little stinking say, bastards are part of the performance, apparently. Let's make sure. So let's say to him. Okay. Are those little thieving bastards ready for their show? Can't spell thieving. Are those little thieving bastards ready for their show? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. The prisoner stares at you with a look of hatred in his eyes. You begin to chant as you've done a thousand times before. All right, what do I say? <laughs> You're chanting. What, what's the chant going to be? Okay. Oh, ravioli, I know. Ravioli, ravioli. Oh, I was going to go for Lorem Ipsum Dolor Sit Amet. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. good one. There you go. Okay, we're chanting that out. Lorem Ipsum, Ipsum Dolor Sit Amet, consecutor ad ipsking elit sed du ius mod tempo incident ut labore et dolorem magna aliqua. Through the motion of your hands, you begin to speak as you wave the air with your finger quotes around. Demons, dedus, demons. All right. Perfect. <laughs> And now let's, um, I set the mice free from their box. <laughs> okay. Set the mice free from their box. Oh, God. <laughs> the prisoner looks at you oh with my contempt God. as he lifts up the box and throws the mice into the crowd of people. All right. I want to see what happens from here. What, what does this have? What effect does this have on these people? Oh, God. The seven small rodents make a beeline for the seats in front of your audience. Two jump on each and begin to nibble at some bread that an old woman has left behind her seat. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to see what else happens, honestly. Keep going. One makes it to the back row and runs up to the back of a seat before being thrown off by the crowds rushing to the front. They all want to see. Okay. I would like to say, everyone, please calm down. The mice are friendly. Please calm down, everyone. The mice are friendly. The prisoner ignores you and begins to walk up the stage. He lifts a large knife from his belt with his free hand and begins to cut the leather straps that hold your wooden box together. I take out my gun from my messenger bag and shoot him. Take out the pistol from the messenger bag and shoot the prisoner. The prisoner, yeah. Of course. Despite being shot by a small firearm, the impact of the bullet is still felt as it hits the prisoner in the chest. The prisoner falls back into your wooden box as the audience gasps. So I had a coffin prepared for this <laughs> very so, moment. Yeah. That's yeah. what the box was all along. We are playing the long game. All right. I like it. And then I would like to take a bow. Take a bow, son. Sorry. 
Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my football commentator. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy Gray Perfect. from 2005. Take a bow, son. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know any football. <laughs> the prisoner lies in your box, his robe covering the lower half of his body. Your assistant walks up to the prisoner and pulls the robe from his body. Okay, let's see what happens. The prisoner lies there motionless. The prisoner's eyes are open, but appear to be glazed over. I, th I would I think like he's to dead. say... You've killed him. I think he is dead. You've killed a man. I would like to say to the audience, thank you so much for joining us for the funeral of... Uh... Billiam. Of Billiam. Yeah. Billiam. Billiam the prisoner. Yeah. Sure. Billiam the evil. The audience applauds and you walk off the stage. You approach the prisoner who lies there covered in blood. You kneel down be beside him and look into his dead eyes. I say, um, who's the thieving bastard now? Who's the <laughs> thieving little bastard now? <laughs> who's the thieving little bastard now? Mm-hmm. <sighs> The prisoner makes no sound. His eyes stare straight ahead. I take my two fingers and close his eyes. Take my two fingers and close his eyes. The prisoner's eyes close and the ghastly remains of his face slackens. You stand from your leaning position and head back to your seat. Okay. I call my seven little mice to my side and we head back to my throne in my office. Oh, this story is really taking a turn. The audience applauds as you make your way to your throne on stage. Okay. Your assistant comes rushing onto the stage and hands you a pile of papers tied with a ribbon. I say, what are these? What are these? Your assistant holds the ribbon out to you as he nods to the papers on the ground. You take the ribbon and open it, revealing that it is an invitation to a dance. Okay. Um... <laughs> I say, I accept the invitation. I accept the invitation. Sorry, it's kind of hard to type. I've got Violet sort of eating my finger at the moment. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that little Violet. The audience cheers as you exit the stage. You return to your seat with your assistant and begin to quickly read over the information on the papers. Okay. Um, I would like to attend the dance. Attend the dance. Hey. You arrive at the manor and take in the sights. The dance is quickly coming to an end and the young lords and ladies are saying their goodbyes as they leave. Uh, okay. Have we missed it? Were we too late for the dance? We got there fashionably late, I think. <clears throat> um, let's see. I... Let's see. I kiss my wife, Jeff Goldblum, on the cheek, and I say, Now the real party begins. Now the real party begins. Keep dancing on my own. The two of you begin to walk out to your carriage when you are waylaid by one of the many lords vying for your favour. I would like to say, what do you want, maggot? <laughs> okay. What do you want, maggot? Perfect. The lord's eyes widen and he smiles, bowing low. My apologies, sir. I didn't suspect you to be a mere knight. I say, don't let it happen again. Don't let what it happen do you again. Want? Oh dear. <clears throat> I suspected for some time now that you were behind the rebellious. Rebellious? And I want something for, for my silence. Oh my gosh. I say, um, I, I take out my hunting knife and I say, you can have this, and I stab him in the chest. And say, you can have this, and stab him in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> Feynman, oh my god. 
The Lord falls to the ground, clutching his chest. I want to join you, he wheezes. Then... Oh my gosh. Let's see what he says after that. Or if he dies. <laughs> okay. You I've look become up. very powerful. You have. Do you look up and see your wife heading towards you? She smiles. Hello, dear, she says. <laughs> hey, you reply. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Jeff Goldblum, of course, your wife. Yeah. As well established um, in the canon. Hey, good night, NR7. Okay. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Oh, I don't know what to say after this. Um, I mean, if you want to, we have we have done quite a lot on this story. We are we are welcome to end it at any point and start a new one if you wanted to. Okay. Be because we have kind of reached the pinnacle. All right, let's take her home and tuck ourselves into bed. Take her home and tuck ourselves into bed. The two of you return home and quickly get undressed. You crawl into bed next set and the two of you embrace as you always do. You and Jeff Goldblum in bed. Okay, let's just give it, it one be. more one more enter and see what happens. The two of you make love for the first time. The next day you wake up and look at your beautiful young bride cuddled up next to you. <laughs> so there you go. The I tale, think that's a good end to the, the story. The tale of Sebastian, the courier. Who rose to become king of the prison yeah and, and his young bride jeff goldblum don't forget my circus mice and the with, best with funeral the seven, on earth with the seven thieving little bastards with the best funeral the best performance you've ever seen i mean i think i think her stories go that that is you no know, it's slightly below lord of the rings but it's probably above the hobbit is where i'm thinking it yeah lies, i agree you no know? you know, it's right up there Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs>